If you wanna be staying top of mind with your clients and prospects, so you're the first person they think of when they need your product or service, then this video is for you. In this video, we're gonna share what you can reach out about to stay top of mind and how you can create a process to keep track of it. I'm Mike and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here and you want tips that are gonna help you win more business, get more done, and all things small business, then subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future video. And we're curious, how often do you currently touch base with your customers? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Christy and today we're helping you win more business by teaching you how to stay top of mind with your clients or prospective clients so that weeks, months, a year, whenever it is they realize that they need the service or product that you offer, they think of you first. So grab yourself a coffee, grab a snack and let's get into it. We're starting now. To stay top of mind, you have to be reaching out regularly so your past clients and your potential clients don't forget about you. Now a common problem made is people reach out saying, hey, just checking in, and they send that about once a month or not even once a month. If you wanna be top of mind, you need to be reaching out regularly every three to four weeks so that you stay top of mind with these people. And instead of reaching out and just saying, hey, just checking in, or hey, just touching base, you wanna focus on adding value by sharing relevant content that these people care about. And here are five ideas of how to do that. Idea number one is to send out an email about an interesting article that you read and highlight or call out specific details or lines from the article and mention in a sentence or two how you think they can leverage those ideas. Sending out an article is great, but you have to take it one step further and do the work for them by highlighting the interesting points. This will make it a lot easier for them to digest the material and make it much more likely that they're actually gonna respond. Idea number two, send an email with a link to a podcast that you listened to where something in there resonated with you and you felt that this may be relevant for them. So you'll want to include a sentence or two kind of summarizing what the tip is, the valuable piece of information, or maybe the topic that they talk about that you know that they're really interested in. And make sure you also include the timestamp in your email to make it easy for them. Idea number three is to email a case study article which highlights the results or benefits that you helped someone achieve achieve that you know that this person is also interested in achieving. Idea number four is to call them up and mention something you heard on the radio that made you think of them. This way you can use it as a jump off point to start asking them, how's business? What are they focused on? Is there anything that you can help? Maybe you even know someone in your network that you can put them in touch with to help them with something that they're focused on right now. Idea number five is to call them up and let them know that you're going to be in their area meeting another client and that you would like to take them out for a coffee or lunch. Bonus idea, share them something on social media that you think they'll find interesting. Could be a LinkedIn article, an Instagram or Facebook post, maybe a YouTube video, maybe one of our YouTube videos. Now, let's go through how to create a process to track this in four simple steps. Step one, put together a list of all your clients and potential clients. These could be people you've done business with in the past or people that you've met at an event or maybe somebody who's been referred to you. You can do this in a spreadsheet or you can use a CRM for this. Step two, next you wanna organize this list into different groups to make the process of reaching out easier. For example, you might have a group of VIP clients that you wanna be touching base with more often. Or maybe you wanna organize them by industry if you're in B2B and the articles you're gonna be sending are industry specific. Or say you're in real estate, maybe you'll wanna organize and group them by neighborhoods that you can send information about developments in their area. Step three, you want to carve out time on your calendar every single day, at least an hour or so to go through this list and reach out to these people. To help you build this habit, use a repeating appointment on your calendar or a reminder on your phone. Step four, each day as you go through this list and you reach out, whether it's email, text message, social media, a phone call, whatever that reach out is, you wanna record it and document it. So for example, if you're using a spreadsheet to do this, you're gonna to wanna to add a column for the reach out, the date that you reached out, 
a column for notes or details that you discuss so that you can remind yourself later, and then another column for a date of when the next reach out is gonna be, which should be around three to four weeks. And that way you can just skim that column looking for what's today's date, who do I need to reach out to? And if you wanna automate this, you can use a CRM. For example, in Daylight, you can do this by creating different lists, such as a VIP list or a list for a specific region or industry, and then reach out one by one or in bulk. For example, you can use email templates from within Daylight or you can integrate with MailChimp. And the great thing about using a CRM like Daylight is that all these interactions are automatically saved for you. And if you use a smart list in Daylight, it will automatically update to show you all the people you haven't yet reached out to. You can define that schedule, whether it's 20 days, 30 days, or whatever time frame you like. If you'd like to give Daylight a try, check out the link we have in the description below where you can start a free trial. The main thing is you wanna be reaching out regularly so that you're top of mind and the first person they think of when they need you. Remember, they probably and may not need you right now, but you wanna be the first one they think of when they do need you. So you wanna be reaching out through various mediums, email, phone calls, text messages, social media, newsletters. You wanna be first in their mind the minute that they think of that service or product that they need so that you don't give them the opportunity to go to your competition. Now that you have a process for staying top of mind, and once you have someone ready to buy, check out this video here that's gonna help you streamline your sales process. Thank you so much for joining us for the video today, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you'd like more tips like this, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future video.